everyone. It's currently Thursday the 22nd of March and it is almost 3.30. That clock says 3.34 but it's six minutes fast. My heating clock. <laughs> Just haven't bothered changing it. We're soon going to be putting the clocks forward anyway, so I might as well just leave it till then. It's not doing any harm. Um, so I've been busy for a few days, and I've been sort of up and down with my moods as well lately. Again, for various reasons I'm not going to get into. Uh, but, uh, what shall I start? It's going to be primarily just talking about computers, because that's all I've been tinkering with basically. Um, my friend got, uh, what's the word, mugged or taken for a mug because uh, he went out to a town called Great Yarmouth. I think all, many in Britain will actually know that town. It's a uh, big coastal town right on the edge of uh, Norfolk, right on the Norfolk-Suffolk border. Anyway, um, he went there, because he often goes to car meets there, so uh, he went into this shop, I believe it's some sort of computer shop, I don't know what it is, or it sells at least used computers and whatnot, and swapped his car's subwoofer, He's got, he had a big dual subwoofer thing, for this little old PC, a little HP slimline, HP pavilion slimline. Which um, he was under the impression did work and just needed some uh, upgrades. That's the impression this shop gave him. Wrong. In short, it was. It's knackered. Um, it wouldn't give a signal out to the monitor. It would turn on, the fans would spin, the little power LED would come on. That was it. No beeping. Crap. I fell into my grease trap for my George Grill. I'm going to have to rinse that off. Anyway, there was no beeping to indicate dead RAM, but I tried that. Just, you know, method of elimination. Made no difference. Um, even tried the processor for another dual core, Intel dual core, exactly the same. Nothing, still nothing out. So, and then I put the processor, the original one from this PC, this is the one that you got by the way, into another motherboard, and lo and behold, the processor worked. So that confirmed the motherboard was toast, basically. Um, which kind of ticked him off because he was hoping to get it working. Um, That might have been slightly better than the one I did for him. I've got I need better lighting in the kitchen, don't I? My face is all shadowed. I need some lighting up on this wall, really, don't I? Which I could do. Get some different lighting. Anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. I got sidetracked. Uh, he did get two spare sticks of RAM. DDR2 RAM, but they, even what was on here was only a gig, and it had Windows Vista, apparently. The hard drive was also not working. One of the two SATA connectors had broken um, on the motherboard, that is. The hard drive, I'm pretty certain it's the circuit board, because it wasn't being detected no matter what computer I stuck it on, it just wasn't being detected. But I could, um, I could feel the platter spinning, but there was no activity from the actual read heads. No clicking, no nothing to indicate the heads had got stuck or broken or whatever. Uh, so I've kept the hard drive, and I'm gonna. And I don't. I'll come across another hard drive of that type, so I'll swap the circuit board just to see if it was the circuit board. In fact, I think I've got one. On my main computer that I could just pinch the board off of. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure I really want to do that. Um, 
So yeah, he did feel rather mugged off, you know, that he'd been mugged off and bullshit. That actually pissed me off as well, because I just feel this place is, you know, taking my friend for an idiot. <clears throat> but uh, unfortunately, short of spending £60 on another motherboard, for that you might as well just go out and buy another working PC, to be honest. You know, you might have to pay a bit extra, depending on what specs you get, but for what specs this had, 60 quid would buy you another PC just like it. In fact, you could probably get another couple of gigs, maybe, or at least two gigs, for the price this whole, for the price the motherboard's going to cost to put in there. I'm not sure if I can get a different micro ATX motherboard that will fit in here. I didn't look, really look. I didn't look because I had one of these cases before when I bought that last job lot of computers. And it was one of these and it was just a bare bones case. There was absolutely nothing in it. <laughs> so, yeah. I wouldn't mind getting it working but I'm not going to be able to afford a 60 quid motherboard. I can't justify that cost. Because I would just put this into my own personal collection and because it wouldn't be used a great deal, if at all, maybe just for when I'm playing around with a computer when I'm bored, I just can't justify the £60 to spend on it. So unless I can find something cheaper, I may end up just ditching that case like I did the other one. <coughs> anyway, I was working on an Acer Aspire case. I was going to build up and use as my... <coughs> oh. <coughs> got a bit of a dry throat, hang on. That I was going to use as a backup PC just in case my main one died. <laughs> that didn't happen because the motherboard in it was a pain in the ass and I didn't have anything better to put in. Um been a pain in the ass because of the motherboard itself. It's uh, me and my friend have played around with it for ages. It just it doesn't matter what sort of um, RAM you put in there or however many sticks you put in there. It still says not all of it is usable. It's still um, if I put just one two gigabyte stick on this board, it will say only 1.75 is usable. And it did exactly the same thing when I put four 512 megabyte sticks in there. Still said only 1.75 usable. But I know it's not the RAM because I took those 512 megabyte sticks out of here. And I threw it in and it's still in there. My Optiplex 740 here works perfectly fine. It's registering the full two gigabytes so I know it's not the RAM sticks. Um, and it really hates having a video card plugged in there. If I plug one in, even one that I know for definite works, doesn't put a signal out and you don't hear no hard drive activity or anything from it. So, uh, my friend bought this motherboard back. No, he didn't. I gave him the motherboard that I did for him originally in this case. We stuck that in the Acer Aspire case because I thought, well, I'm getting this one back and I actually like this one because there's more room to move. The Acer Aspire was a nice case, but there's so little space to move in it. Um, I mean, my friends actually managed to fit that big old, I don't know if anyone will remember it, the big old ATI Radeon video card I had. It's quite an old one now, in fact I can't find drivers for Windows 10 for it. So it'll work on Windows 10 but it's not brilliant because of that. Uh, but yeah, he's managed to squeeze that in there and he said it was tight. I know it was tight because I managed to do it as well. It was a tight fit. So yeah, I'll let him have that with the other motherboard. The reason he wanted this one was because Actually, I'm not sure why he wanted this one. I think it's because we could put more RAM in it. 
but he said while it was he was using it on his machine it didn't work proper, properly anyway it, really, it was being a pain and it was being slow he's not complained of it being slow since we put the original motherboard back in so yeah I'm pretty certain this has got issues so I think I'm just going to eBay it spares or repairs taking the processor off I don't know about the heat sink I might leave, sell that with it because I don't need it I've got another pissy little thing like this in fact I think this one is actually off my main computer yeah that's what was on my main computer this pissy little thing PS you shouldn't do that that won't hurt it because it's not generated but you can generate current doing that which can back feed into the motherboard and cause damage so I don't recommend doing that yeah I just want the dual core processor off of this that's all and the motherboard can like I said go on eBay spares or repairs then I'm actually in the mood to build a PC so I might build this up later I, might, I have no friggin idea what I'm gonna do about all I can do is build a Windows XP because that's all I've got this takes dual core RAM but dual core RAM took me a few seconds to realise what I'd said. DDR2 RAM, it's even got SAR connectors look, but it's got an AGP, the old style video slot and uh, the rest of the tech on here is really old school. It's just like a upgraded Windows XP type motherboard, that's all this one is. It's got VIA graphics. I've got a choice of motherboards. I'm not actually sure that one's going to go in. Oh, it might. I right, push. <laughs> yeah, I just want to build something. That's all. Ideally, I'd like to get some a better motherboard and build something better with better fans and whatnot. But uh, I can always change that when I come across the parts. But uh, my friend found out while he had this that. Uh, you can change all these panels, that one, that one, that one, that one, all of them can all be taken off and swapped around. So I can take the card reader panel off here and put it there if I wanted and put that there and then put all the other... You can reconfigure it because that was there I think, it was either there or there or somewhere here. This panel. And he put it up there. I didn't realise you could actually do that, it was him that found that out. I thought this bit was actually fixed to the front panel. And it was just these bits that could be moved, you know, the grill pieces, but nope. You can actually move the whole kit and caboodle. And I am tempted, now it's back in my ownership, to move that there and that there. See what that looks like. Not that I'd use the card reader a lot on it. Would have been nice if I could have. Uh... Oh, shit. Just unplug the cables. So I've got to open this up again now to plug the cables back. I'm glad they do plug in. Um, anyway, I was hoping I could get this on. That's the only thing I wanted off that Acer Aspar case. This. That's the only bit I wanted to keep. I let him have fans and everything with it because fans are cheap enough. Don't really know why I hang on to fans because, like I said, you know they're bloody cheap enough to buy brand new. Uh, anyway, this is working on Windows 7, I think. Yeah, Windows 7. Got a video card for it as well. Uh, my friend let me have it from this. Came in that, so I haven't got to buy one. I just got to buy the um, hard drive caddy because I pinched the hard drive caddy from this to put in there because I wanted that one up and running and then I got bored so I got this one working so now I need the hard drive caddy for that and they're exactly the same so hopefully next week I'll be able to order one even th this whole section is exactly the same it's the same layout at least let's see should be a floppy disk drive in there but I've upgraded I still think I prefer the looks to, of this one and I want to upgrade the RAM on this one. 
That's got Windows 10. This is my Optiplex 740. Dimension C521. And here is the Dell 1100. Dell Dimension 1100. Which uh, looks... I've actually noticed a lot of companies like Dell and Acer and whatnot and HP. They've got this habit of using the same case for a number of years but just change the insides because this, the 1100 my 4600 which is down there and the 2400 which is in the bedroom on the outside and by the front are identical there's nothing different it's the motherboards that are different um, I mean the 4600 is the best one to upgrade because it has a video card slot so it's almost like that one was designed for home and office use the 1100 and the 2400 I've got don't even have an AGP slot on them to upgrade them so you can't put a video card on there unless you want to fork out a fair bit of cash for a PCI video card which really isn't worth it in my opinion Pardon me. So yeah, the 4600 is the best in that respect, but the other two, they work. I could play bog standard crappy XP games on them. Oddly. <laughs> Was not expecting that, to be honest. I was surprised at how minimal specs it seems a lot of games required back then. Or at least the games I've got don't seem to require any heavy specs anywho I'm going to disappear for a bit because I am expecting the doorbell to go ok I said I'd be back it's 11 something or other at the minute I did have to run around the flat trying to find you though because I couldn't find you I'd forgotten that when I last shut the camera down, I'd gone for a pee and put you down on the window ledge. It's a good job I turned you off. <laughs> anyway, this is done. And it works, let's see. Press the button, turns on. Just got to sort that rear fan out. <clears throat> and change the video card because I've put a duff one on there. It's installed, well, I didn't actually have to download the drivers. It's installed at fine without any arguments, you know, without saying, oh, these drivers aren't the right ones or anything. Same with the sound card that I put on and the Realtek Ethernet adapter because this actually does not have onboard Ethernet on this motherboard. It's got SATA connectors, believe it or not, but no onboard LAN. Doesn't make sense to me. I don't think QDI even exists anymore because last time I tried searching for drivers for this couldn't find any at all. So yeah but the sound blaster card I put on there um, it installed that without crying about it. It installed all three devices actually without crying about it. I was quite surprised. I thought I was going to have to go searching for drivers. Uh, I've got plenty of video cards in my box, so I'll just go find another one. And I'll throw that one in the bin, because it obviously isn't any good. Or, I could collect up a bunch of old computer stuff like that and put it on eBay as a job lot of spares repairs. Because I know people will buy the stuff as scrap to take the gold off of them, so... I could try that. Ah. This motherboard, that can go on. So that's the dodgy one, I'll put that on spares or repairs. It may just need the BIOS reflashing, you know, there might be something wrong with that. Which I'm thinking is the most likely most likely cause. Ow. I snap back and got my finger. But I don't want the heat sink, so I'll include the heat sink. All I want is the uh, AMD dual core processor that's in it. That's all I want. 
But yeah, I'm going to take some photos of a few things tonight and put some more up tomorrow. Now that I've got an unlimited eBay account, it's the only reason I made a new one. You know, I've got so much stuff that I've been waiting for months to put on eBay. But it takes so long because my main account is restricted to 10 items a month. So it's been taken forever just to clear out the shit. I don't really want to throw it out because it's just wasteful. To me, it's just wasteful. I don't like waste. So I'd rather get 99p for something instead of throw it in the bin. You know, if someone's willing to give me 99p and make use of it, then great. Put that processor down there gently. I mean, unless you get really close, you can't see that there's an issue with the um, video card. But when you get right up close, I don't know if you can see it, you can see there's like little lines and things in the background. But yeah, this is working. My LAN cable has fallen out again, yep. Because the clip was broken on it. Why do they always break? Those little clips that hold the um, Ethernet cable <coughs> into the socket the same way as a phone cable, they always break off. Then that's a pain in the ass because if you have to move your computer, you're likely to loosen the bloody cable off. But it does its job, you know, for. Just testing and whatnot. Then go back in the box. Uh, I just got to connect the fan up. I've got to put the hard drive and power LED connectors on. Change that video card. I think I can actually put the other side cover on. I just want to check a header on that sound card to see if it'll take the. Um, Cable for the front audio. I'm not sure. I can't see at that angle. Should have checked it before I put it on there. I've got a bunch of. <laughs> I'm not sure of sound cards or video cards. Let's just um, put it that way. I've actually got obsolete cards in there. I've got um, TV capture cards in there as well. But uh, I can't find the drivers for them. And there's a couple in there that you even today you've still got to buy the drivers for them. And as I don't know if they work, I'm not willing to spend money. Well, I'll just keep those as a keepsake because to me they're an interesting little piece of history. Right, so what I wanted to do tonight is take some photos of a few more items because now. I can list 20 items for free a month, free listing, no insertion fee, after 20 items there's um, then an insertion fee on eBay. Uh, so if I can get 20 random, I've called the new account odds n sods, odds and sods, odds dash n dash sods. I stuck a number on it and I can't remember what the number was is without looking at it. So really I just want to find odds and sods. <laughs> you know I've got this brand spanking new motorcycle indicator there. That I will take uh, multiple photos of so I can just uh, you know get different angles. But it's still sealed in back. Look at what this cost brand new. $34.99 for that. Definitely ain't got to um, ask that for it. Uh, yes, yeah, so at least I can. Frickin' camera cut off again. Where was I? Oh, yeah, eBay. So, uh, yeah, um, 
like I said, I'm starting off with small stuff because at least I can post that, you know, and get some feedback established. I'm still going to pay the fees on my main account and use that. I'll probably use that primarily for buying, which is pretty much what I've always used it as. Um, and just use the other one for selling whatever crap I come across. I've got, like I said, I've got some bulkier items, but I can't do that till I get some ink. Because I can't print off the postage labels. Uh, one of these maxi lights I made static and I don't know which one it is I think it's the one on the floor if it is that's the one I'll get, um, keep and I'll get rid of the other one or it could be this one under here <laughs> Pretty certain it's either this one or the one on the floor. I'll have to shove a battery in one of them and find out. Um, but, oh yeah, that problem that I mentioned earlier in the video that was stressing me out. I think we may have uh, may be able to solve that without uh, bailiffs knocking on the door, which is good. I don't know why, but I get panicky quite easily when I get letters like that. I think it's because they word them in such a daunting, threatening manner half the time. Well, maybe not threatening, but they, it just feels daunting to get them. I think I may end up trying these at some point as well, these little Phillips. I've got some big Panasonic ones under there as well. Again, they would have to go via a courier, so I can't list those yet. But I've just collected up all this bloody junk. Well, to most people it's probably junk. But I just don't have a use for it now. And it's just taking up room. So... Hell, if I had the storage space, I'd have set up a business account. You know? Because I'd find stock and sell it on eBay, basically, like a lot of people do. But, uh, obviously, I can't do that. Because I haven't got the stock. That's where you kind of need the money to invest to buy the stock. Um, I was just reading a comment on there. I was going to answer it, but I'll um, reply in a minute. Uh, oh, they're parrots in these pro- I wonder what the hell they were. Couldn't quite see. Big grit under my mouse on the mouse pad. Right. I'm going to end the video, I think, before I ramble on too much more. So, thanks a lot for watching. I will uh, talk to you all again soon. Bye.